Hi kids, Mr. Vince here from the Brown Bears class. Today we're going to learn about ants. I'm going to teach you a new song about ants. I'm going to teach you the parts of the ants. And we're also going to be doing an ant art project. So here we go. We're going to start off first with our song. And it goes like this. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb as they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe as they all go marching out to the ground. Take it out of the rain, boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree as they all go marching down to the ground. Take it out of the rain, boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah. Hurrah! The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to close the door as they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching five by five. The little one stops to take a dive as they all go marching down to the ground. Take it out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Now that's the song. Now let's learn a little bit about ants. This is a picture of an ant. And the ant has three parts of the body. It has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And it also has, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five, six legs. And on top of his head, it has two antennas. Three legs on one side, three legs on the other side. Three plus three equals six. Now this is going to help us because now we're going to make our very own ants. What you're going to need is a piece of paper, a marker, and if you have a stamp pad, you can use stamps also. If you don't have a big one, you can use a small stamp pad or just the marker. What we're going to do first is we're going to make a house for an ant. And if you don't know, an ant lives in an ant hill. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. And we're going to draw one side of the hill all the way down. And then we're going to do the other side of the hill and go all the way down. Just like that. Because the ants are going to live inside the hill and walk around on the outside. Now what you're going to need is your stamp pad. So you're going to dip your finger in the stamp pad. And let's remember how many parts of their ant there were. There are three parts. We're going to do the head, get some more, the thorax, which is the middle part, and then finally the abdomen, which is the bottom part. Three parts. And then you can put some ants at the bottom, just like that. Good. Now remember, if you don't have a stamp pad, you could also use a marker. Get your finger and just color the tip of your finger. And afterwards, make sure you wash your hands and don't touch any of parents' furniture. And again. One, two, three. Just like that. But now we're forgetting something. Our ants don't have any legs. So you have to draw one, two, three. One, two, 
three. Three on each side, that means six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And don't forget the antennas. One, two, one, two, one, and two. And finally, you have to put the eyes on it. Otherwise, the ants not going to be able to see. I can't see that last one. There it is. One, two. There's your ants. You can fill up the whole page, put some inside on the outside. Those are ants climbing on a hill. I hope you enjoyed that, and I can't wait to see what you guys do with your projects. See you tomorrow.